hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is esther prara of estibella designs thanks for joining me today so in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut and sew a short pant so a short pant can be gotten from a long pant trouser i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft a long pant trouser so i just want to start afresh and teach you how to cut and sew a short pant so the first thing you do is you mark you mark and you mark four inches upward four inches upward and four inches by the side you see the way i marked it four inches upward four inches by the side this is the standard it will work for everybody every size it will work i won't even exhaust these markings that i have here but just put it for yours like that so after doing this the next thing you want to do is to get the crotch depth you can get the crotch depth by using the formula your hip divided by four inches so if my hip is 40 40 divided by four will give me 10 inches so my crotch depth is going to be 10 inches so from this top line i'm going to mark 10 inches 10 inches 10 inches and i'm going to mark it on the width to 10 inches 10 inches 10 inches so i'm going to square this line So this is this box now is my crotch depth from here to here is my crotch depth you see we turn it into a box so the next thing i want to do is to mark my crotch extension so the crotch extension has a formula for the front your crotch extension is your hip divided by 20. my hip is 40 40 divided by 20 will give me two inches so my crotch extension from the front is going to be two inches. So I'm going to I'm going to extend this line now to two inches. I'm going to extend it two inches. Then I'll connect it. Good. So I've extended this. So this is my crotch extension so the next thing i want to mark is my hip line your hip line is two inches above your crotch depth so i'm going to mark two inches above my crotch depth two inches two inches i'll connect the line So this is my hip line this is my hip line this is my crotch depth so i want to make that curve that crotch usually have so for me to do this i'll come out on this hip line i'll come out by 0 0.25 i'll come out just a guide you see it then i'll make a curve then i'll make a curve touching this line touching this line and touching this line So that is it so that is my crotch curve so the next thing i want to do is to get my short length so the length of my short i want the length of my shorts to be 15 inches so i'm going to mark 15 inches 15 inches and i'll mark 15 inches here so and i'll connect the lines So that is my short, that's the length of my short so the next thing i want to do is to mark my waist measurement my waist is 29 29 divided by 4 will give me 29 divided by 4 will give me 7.25 7.25 then i'll add one inch for that one inch for that so i'll connect this to my hip line
you see it so that is done so we can just quickly plot our that let's plot our drag that so for me to get my dart, I don't want to use my nipple to nipple. So I'll just share everything I have here. I'll just share it into two. Get the mid midpoint. So that's the midpoint. So and I want my dart, the length of my dart to be four inches or four point five. Let's use four point five. So I'll connect the line. I just want to get what I have here so that it will be equal straight line. Okay, so I'll draw a straight line. Okay, so this is a straight line here. Okay, so I'll open the dart by half inch on both sides. Connect it. Okay, so that's my that. What to do is to get everything I have from my crush extension to this part. I'll measure everything that I have there. So I have 12 inches. So this 12 inches, I'll divide it by two to give me six, six inches. So I'm going to mark six inches on this place, this part here, I'm going to mark six inches. I'm going to mark six inches. And I'm also going to mark the six inches here. And I'll turn it into a straight line. Okay. So now on this part, I'm going to mark my round, my round lap measurement where my where my shot is supposed to reach. I will measure that part. So I've measured mine. Mine is 23 inches. So that 23 inches, I'm going to divide it into two. So if I divide 23 inches into two, I will get 11.5. So I'm going to put 11.5 on this part. I'm going to divide 11.5 into two. If I divide it into two, I will get 5.75 so i'm going to mark 5.75 here i'm going to mark 5.75 here and mark 5.75 here too from this part so i'm going to mark 5.75 so i'll need to increase this my line here i'll need to increase it i'll need to extend the line here okay so I mark 5.75 here. I'm also going to mark 5.75 here too. Okay. So now I'll connect the line. I'll connect from my from my crotch depth. I'll connect to this part. Then from my crotch extension, I'll connect to this part. So this is done. This is pretty much what we need. This is our shot. But what I want to do here now, I'm going to raise this my waistline. I'll raise it up by half inch. Then I'll connect it back to the first that leg. I'll connect it here. Okay, so that is done. This is our front block for our shot. So the next thing I will do now is to mark my back pattern i'm still going to mark my back pattern on this same pattern so we are doing the two in one pattern so what i'll do first is to extend this my i'm going to use a pencil so that we can differentiate the front from the back so i'll extend the first thing i'll do is to extend my crotch line okay guys so after 
extending my crotch extension the next thing i want to do is to, is to come to this center front line i'll come in here by one inch i'll mark one inch I'll, one inch then i'll come to this place and I'm, i'll mark two inches two inches you see it then i'll connect the line this line that i'm connecting now i'm going to extend it up if you are a small size you can come out here by 1.5 but for me i'm going to come out for by two inches two inches work for almost everybody so i'm going to connect this one inch is a standard from this place come out by one inch so i'm going to connect the lines and raise it up you see i'll raise it up i'm trying to make the pencil show so that you can see it so i'll raise it up i hope you can see it so i'll raise it up by two inches two inches but if you have a very full butt you can go up by 2.5 or three inches so that's the two inches so the next thing i want to do is to connect it down here with my waist measurement my waist measurement plus the dart you know my waist measurement plus the dart we got 10 okay my waist measurement plus the dart we got 8.25 so i'm going to mark 8.25 but look how i'm doing it i'm slanting it down 8.25 we need 8.25 so i'm going to mark 8.25 here and you know we are going to come up so i'm just going to mark it here 8.25 this is 8.25 here so i'm going to connect it but first, before we connect it, let's extend all this line. Let's extend the hip line. Let's extend the crotch extend the crotch line. Okay, so I've extended these lines. So you know from here. I'm going to mark our hip now. My hip is 40. So I'm going to mark 10. Yeah. You see it? You know, this is now our new back line. This is my back line now. This is my center back line now. This is for the front, the center front. So this is this new line that we marked is my new center back. So I need to mark my hip there now. So from there, I'm going to mark 10, 10 inches from my new center back 10 inches so this is it here so for us to get the same line here what i'll do i'll just get everything that i have from here i have three inches so i'm just going to mark three inches here too Jeez. then i'll mark my waist measurement for the back which is this that we have marked already so I'm just going to slant it and raise it up by half. You know we're going to raise it up by half. So I'm just going to connect it. You see it? Then I'll connect it to my hip line. Just blend this part. Then let's get our cross extension. Our cross extension for the back is your hip divided by 10. So my hip is 40. 40 divided by 10 will give me 4 inches. So I'm going to mark my 4 inches from the new center back. So I'm going to mark 4 inches here. 4 inches. So this is my crush extension for the back and for me to connect it i'm going to come out here by 0 0.25 then i'll connect it so my connection will be don't don't be trying to make sure that it touches here and here just make it touch the good so this is what we have for the back so what we need to do here we'll just come out by half come out by half here and come out by half here. 
so let me extend this line too. So I'll come out by half here. Come out by half here. And I'll connect it. So we are done. It's to put the dart. Okay, let's put our dart for the back now. So if you want to put the dart for the back, it's very... It, what you do, you know this line is not a straight line, it's a slant line. So all you need to do is to get one of the lines on your ruler. Let it align. Let one of this line align with your... With your... This your back line. But first, let's get the... Let's get the position of our dart. So to get the position of that, just get everything you have here. Get everything you have here, then divide it into two. So this is where we want our dart to be. Then the length of the dart can be five inches. But make sure that your ruler, one of the lines on your ruler is matching with this line here. Because your dart is not going to be straight. Your dart will be slant because that line is a slant line. So once it aligns and it's touching the position where you want to put the dart, just draw it. Okay, so me, I've gotten my line, so I'll just draw it. So the length of my dart is going to be 5 inches. So I'm going to mark 5 inches. Or you can use 5.5, .5. let's use 5.5. .5. So this is where my dart is going to stop. So let me clean the remaining parts. Then I'll open up my dart with half of an inch. Half on both sides. Then I'll connect it back. Okay, so we are done. Our shot is ready. Our short pants is ready. So I'm just going to trace this back out into another paper. How I did, I folded my paper. So I folded it so that we can transfer one. But I want to I don't want to transfer the back. Let's transfer the front. We we'll use this tracing wheel to transfer the front and it will appear here. So we can now use this one as our back. Then this one that we trace out will now be our front. So let's let's start tracing now. So I'm tracing the front, don't forget. I'm tracing out the front. So I'm going to follow where the marker pen is showing. I'm not going to follow my pencil line. My pencil line is for the back. So I've traced it out. So it's going to appear here. You might not see it, but I'll see it. So let me use my marker to bring it out. I can see it. I'm seeing it clearly. So I'm going to bring it out. Okay, guys. So I've transferred it. This is the front now. This is our front pattern. And this is our back pattern. So I'm going to cut it out and cut the back out. Then we can now get our band. We can get our band from it. Or let's get the band out now. So I want my I want to have two inches or let's say 1.5 inch band. So I'm going to mark the 1.5. But before I mark it, I'm going to close my darts first. So I'm going to label it so I will know center front, side front. So I'll draw an arrow to show where it's up. So I can cut it out now. So this is my front shot. And this is the band. Let's keep it aside and work with the back. So for the back too, I'm going to cut out my band too. So I'm going to mark 1.5. I'll close the dart first. Don't forget the pencil. 
is for the the pencil mark is for the back. Just ignore the marker line. The marker line is for the front. Just ignore it as if it does not exist. Ignore it. So I'm going to mark my 1.5. 1.5. So let's cut the back out first. Okay. So this is my back. This is the front pattern. And this is the back pattern. So let's transfer this to fabric now. You can see the dart for my the dart for the main shot is open. So I'm going to sew it on the fabric. But the one for the band, we have already closed the dart. I've added allowances on the center. This is the back and this is the front. On the center back, I added half inch here on the crotch area. I added one inch by the side. I added half inch upward. You can add as much as you want down here as much as you want to fold for hemming allowance the same thing for the front i added half inch here i added half inch here here too i added half inch on the back half inch here then one inch here half inch upward then as much as you want one or 1.5 or two inches depending on how you want to fold it down so i'm also going to transfer this i'm going to cut for the band for the front and back i'm going to cut four pieces of each because we are going to use one to turn one so i'm going to cut this out first then i'll cut the band four pieces of it then i'll press este on it okay guys so let's go straight to the sewing part so i've pressed este on my band this is my band this is the center front this is center front i told you we cut two two for each because we are going to use it for lining we are going to use one to turn each other so what i'm going to do i'll bring one center front i'll bring the other center front then i'll sew it at this center front I'll sew half inch to make it become one. I'll do the same for this one too. I'll do the same thing for this one too. I'll sew half inch here. You know I left half inch allowance. So I'll sew it so they will become one. I'll now put them together. I'll now sew the top. I'll sew the top then turn it. So that's what I'll use to sew on the front. So this is the front. So I'll go to my sewing machine too now. Then I'll sew this. First, I'll sew this crotch area first. You see it? I'll sew this crotch area first. I'll do the same thing for the back. I'll sew the crotch area. Then I'll do the same thing for the band that I did there. So like, the, like I did there. So I'll come back. Then we'll now attach the band. This is a very quick tutorial before you know we are done. So I'm going to, let me do all this that I've said. Then we'll come back to attach the band to the trouser. Okay, so I want to quickly show you the dart you know we, we still have that on the short so we are, i already notched the dart so i'm going to go and hold this dart though it's short but you have to still hold it so i'm going to hold the dart for the front and hold the dart for the back i've sewn it yeah by the crush i've held my dart for both of them and for the band this is it i've sewn it inside and i've turned it and i folded half inch i folded half inch so that we can attach it now so let's attach it to the short so this is for the this is for the back let's start with the front so this is what i'm going to do i'll go to my sewing machine and i'll sew from the back this is the wrong side so i'll sew like this by half inch after sewing it then i'll take it in then we'll top stitch then i'll just top stitch i hope you understand i'll sew like this it's half inch after sewing it, then you know we'll take it inside like this. Then we'll now top stitch on the band. That's what I'll do on the band. I'll do it also for this. Then after fixing the band, this is what it looks like. You can see it's very neat. See my band very neat. So now I want to fix the zipper by the side. I want my zipper to be by the side. I'm not fixing pocket on this shot. So I'll put my zipper by the side. How I'll do that is I'll shape. You know, I left one inch allowance. I will not need to even measure again. I'll just bring out the one inch allowance that I left by the side. I'll just sew it. For the part that I want to put the zipper, make sure your zipper is on the left hand side, not on the right hand side. So on the left hand side, I will just use a gather stitch to sew from here up to like eight inches. I'll use a gather stitch to sew up to eight inches. 
then I will sew down with my um, um, regular stitch. I will sew the remaining part down. But I will sew from here to 8 inches with gather stitch. Then I will press it. Then I will lose the gather stitch. Then fix my zipper on it. After fixing my zipper, before I will now shape this other side with 1 inch. After shaping this other side with 1 inch, then I will now sew my inseam. After doing both of them and fixing the zipper, then I will now sew my inseam, the inner leg. I will now sew it and I will hem it down and that will be all for this shot. You can see it's so simple. As this brings us to the end of the tutorial, I hope you found value in this video. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to see yours. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit on the subscribe button and click on the like button. Thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.